This very studio that I stand in right now can seem like the biggest place on earth if you let it intimidate you, but our access manager, Bonnie Schumacher, is going to help us feel a little more at home by sharing some great studio technical tips. Today's tech tip will center on Studio One. We will explore how to use the plasma monitor to display an image on your set, talk to your crew, and send audio to the studio. If you connect the BNC from the plasma monitor to the program monitor BNC jack in the studio, the plasma monitor will show the program output of the switcher. You would use this function if you are utilizing the monitor for your talent to see which camera is hot. If instead you connect the PNC cord from the plasma monitor to the plasma BNC jack in the studio, you can select what is shown on the monitor. In this case, you would use it as a part of the set. You come into the studio and go to the panel above the camera control units. On the right hand side is your destination. Here you select plasma. On the left hand side is the source. Here you can select what you want to project onto the plasma. If you have a graphic that you are using through the inscriber, select character generator. This means that whatever you select on the inscriber will show up on the plasma monitor. You could also select DV deck, the TBC, or another camera. During a studio shoot and before, it is often necessary to talk to the crew and the talent. There are a couple of ways you can do this. If you want to address the entire crew and talent before the start of the show, you can use the studio address button on the console. It is below the camera monitors. Pushing this button broadcasts over the studio speakers what you are saying. If you would like to talk to just the camera people, you use this intercom system. Make sure the channel in the studio is on the same channel as on the cameras. In Studio 1, everything should be on Channel 2. You also need to make sure the microphone and speaker are on. You don't need to press anything to talk. If you would like to talk with your talent, make sure to obtain an IFB and long XLR cord from the access desk. Hook the XLR cord into the IFB 1 in the studio. Hook the other end into the IFB. Give the IFB to put into the talent's ear. Go into the control room and select IFB 1. Push it in and talk. There are some cases where you may want to send the audio you are recording out to the studio so the talent can hear it too. Maybe it is during a small video piece that airs during your program. The way to set this up is on the mixer. First, you need to make sure the studio amp is turned on. Then, select the source you'll be using. You want to make sure you don't have a microphone flowing back into the studio. This will cause a feedback loop. Once you have selected your source, we'll be using a CD, go up to the red knobs and turn auxiliary 5 and 6 up. Adjust the level that goes into the studio while maintaining a good level for recording. And this is our tech tip for this month.